teams here on the ground have been working to get uh, the cameras on the ISS in place for, for this first Passover of the day of Hurricane Sandy. That should be coming up any time now. Station's currently about 260 miles above uh, the Atlantic Ocean, just past over Cuba. Southeast of the tip of Florida. Entire East Coast is, uh, or much of the East Coast is bracing for San uh, Hurricane Sandy's landfall. As of the top of the hour, it was 205 miles southeast of Atlantic City, New Jersey, and 260 miles south southeast of New York City, with maximum sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. Hey, just a heads up that uh, if you want to snap a few pictures, we have a flyover of Hurricane Sandy here until 1525. Cupola window one is going to be your best shot there. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Cool. And while we're at it at 16.52 for 12 minutes, cupola window four, same thing. 1625. Sorry, 16, 16.52. Sorry, I screwed that up. Copy 16.52. Flight Director Royce Renfrew there giving the crew on board the station a heads up. Perform the condensate offload in it. Checking. I was saying, as I was saying, Renfrew there giving the crew a heads up that they can also uh, get their cameras out to take some photos of the uh, hurricane as they pass over. Looks like it's just starting to come into view here. As of the National Weather Service's uh, 10 a.m. update, uh, Sandy had sustained winds of 90 miles an hour and was moving north-northwest at 18 miles an hour. By the time it makes landfall again, it's expected to change from a hurricane into a frontal or a wintertime low-pressure system, according to the National Weather Service, but they don't expect it to weaken any. Station Houston on two for the CWC fill. Again, seeing here a live view of Hurricane Sandy as the International Space Station flies above it, uh, about 260 miles above the Atlantic Ocean. Awesome, thank you very much. This is uh, the first pass that uh, crew has made over it today, and the team here on the ground did give them heads up so that they could take uh, still photos of it as well. So we may be seeing more of those later. But they'll also have a chance later in the day to take photos again at 11.52 uh, a.m. Central Time. That's when the space station is scheduled to pass over the area again, and we'll plan to put views from the external cameras out live to NASA TV at that time as well.
Houston, station on two. We are complete with vacuuming in node two. Moving on to node one, if you can re-enable smoke detection node two and inhibit in node one, that would be great. Copy in work, stand by just one. Station Houston on two, we've uh, fixed the smoke detectors in node one, your go for ops in that module. Okay, thank you. Hurricane sanding now, uh, beginning to pass out of view of the International Space Station's external cameras. Station's currently about 260 miles above the Atlantic Ocean, east of uh, New York and Massachusetts, and heading northeast towards the northernmost portion of this orbit around the Earth. One jumper directly to Q, uh, QP15 on the rack. Is that correct? That's a good copy. Okay, copy. And also the uh, desired stop quantity. Um, it says six liters um, uh, in execute note. Do you have a kilogram for the procedure in uh, step three, decimal three? Stand by one. Copy. 